Hello fam, welcome back to my channel and here I am with my first ever comparison video of 2020. So I have like five of them lined up for you guys. So today is the first one. I'm going to be comparing two of my very much favorite bronzers. One is being from high end and one from drugstore. Now coming to bronzers, you know how much I love them, how much I try different bronzers and bronzer is one makeup product i don't mind spending a lot of money if it's high end hai and if the cost of the bronzer is 3000 i don't mind paying 3000 because i know i will be using the bronzer and bronzer is one product where i can actually hit pan on because i just love bronzers bronzers in common can also be used without full face of makeup and you just need that nice sun kissed glow happening a bronzer is a must have now i have two of them to compare today and i have done a dedicated review on both of the products separately on my channel now the two bronzers i'm going to compare you already know by the title of the video and by my thumbnail is the two faced and the rimmel bronzer now yes i wanted to compare this one with my nyx bronzer now frankly speaking nyx ki pricing be 850 here so i thought let me just go a little more cheaper and go with the bronzer which i have used the most after purchasing and frankly speaking this is one of by far are the most used bronzer and the bronzer which I have hit pan so early in the drugstore. Packaging. When it comes to the face products, I feel packaging has to be something kept in mind. If not done well, products can go here and there. Talking about the Rimmel Natural Bronzer packaging, not something I'm a big fan of or something which I would say, oh, I can manage. I cannot manage with this packaging. I cannot travel with this kind of a bronzer with me. I absolutely love the bronzer, but it's just the packaging which kills it for me because firstly, it is very flimsy, very plasticky and it just opens. So if you are traveling and you have a big pouch filled up, up, filled up with like a lot of makeup and you just want to fit that last piece of makeup, then only you can carry this because this needs pressure from all the sides so that it doesn't open by itself. So yes, packaging definitely is not something I'm fan of here. So this product is going to get 5 out of 10. That was pretty low on the marking, but let's talk about the Too Faced Soleil Bronzer. Now, frankly speaking, Too Faced is known for their packaging. They make some amazing packaging on their products, be it be face product, lip product, any kind of product they have made so far, you have to give them for the packaging. Now, here is the Soleil Bronzer, very chic, very vintagey, and you can actually store this product all your life and just give it to your granddaughter or like i would like to give it to my granddaughter or something just like you know it's like more vintagey and the packaging is really chic you get a mirror and then you get a nice bronzer it closes really well it is not going to go here and there not open by itself and it is sturdy packaging so yes for the 2600 amount of money i'm paying here and i'm getting a good packaging very chic very classy and yes it is a high-end bronzer so i do need a good good packaging so this product is going to get obviously 11 on 10. pricing yes something which i feel is very important when you're buying a product be it be a drugstore and be it be a high end when it comes to pricing drugstore can also get a little expensive nowadays now the rimmel bronzer is going to cost you for 50 rupees wherein you end up getting 14 grams of product so the pricing i would say for 14 grams of product a drugstore product 450 is a good pricing and yes in this 450 they could have given me a good packaging it is not something very inexpensive like there are brands who will give you bronzer for 150 also but their packaging is still okay -ish. but here because of the packaging yes so 450 is a good pricing for the product i'm getting here and the amount of product i'm getting here so definitely a 10 out of 10 for the pricing moving on to our high-end baby the two-faced bronzer now frankly speaking it is expensive hands down it is expensive i remember i think it is for 2300 if i'm wrong i will mention it on the screen but it is 2300 wherein you get only eight grams of product now 
if I'm comparing a product with a truck store, then definitely the pricing will be one thing which will be very, like you know, apart from each other, and there is no two way about it. But if I compare this high end with many other high end, then I still feel the pricing is good and decent, being a high end. So 2300 for this bronzer, I don't mind paying because you know I love bronzers and something I like spending my money on. If I makeup products, I would like that would be a good bronzer. It can be a good highlighter also and it can be a good primer. These three products I can blindly spend money and a good mascara. Yes, these four products are like something where I can splurge. So yes, 2300 is a good pricing and yes, you get 8 grams of product. Every brand has their own way of putting in product here. But 8 grams is a lot. So if I compare with the Rimmel one, definitely this will not get 10 on 10. This will get like 9 on 10. After knowing all about the packaging and the pricing and the quantity of product you get in here, everything comes down to the final segment, the quality of the bronzers. Now I have already told you that both of the bronzers are my, my favorite bronzers. I have been using both of them clearly a lot. Now today I'm wearing two face on this side of my face and the Rimmel one on this side of the face. Both the bronzers are a little different in shade I feel. The Too Faced one has a little grey going on but the uh, Rimmel one is like an exact sun kissed bronzer which doesn't have too much of brown happening like grey happening it has a little extra red to it. Now talking about the Rimmel bronzer now the product is really fine but the only crunch factor here is when you start hitting the pan like I've already hit pan on this bronzer it gets a little powdery you do waste a lot of product here but it is pigmented it is good but as and when the product is gonna get finished you will feel the product is not performing the same way so yes I have been facing this issue with this product so that is why I am filming this comparison the second time because the first time I filmed I had not hit pan on but by the time I'm filming this one, I've already hit pan on and my views have changed here that yes, as and when the product is going to get be being empty, it will start getting a little chalky. And yes, if you are not using a right brush, you may not even see the bronzer on your face. So yes, seeing all that apart, when you buy a fresh new bronzer, you get this stunning bronzer on your face. I use the right to brush, that is why I've achieved this bronzer. But the quality, the pigmentation, the blendability is up notch, very good. Yes, you do need a little extra product than my other bronzer here because yes, I don't know how they have made the product but the product has a little bit of kickback uh, and it gives you enough time to blend. Not everybody is very comfortable blending their bronzers. Sometimes it gets a little too harsh, a little too streaky. So if a bronzer has a little bit of kickback, I don't mind because it gives you enough time to work out with the product. You may need an extra product, that's okay. But you get a nice sun kissed glow so yes all in all a wonderful product by Rimmel for the price and you get five to six shades in it currently it is out of stock on my car whenever it is back in stock do get it the shade i'm using is 026 sun kiss the market i it's very difficult to mark this bronzer because i am comparing this with the two faced one but frankly speaking for the price the quality it is definitely a 10 on 10 bronzer for me and if i have hit pan on this one that means i have absolutely loved it and last but not the least our soleil bronzer now this one is a definitely a must buy i would say if you have money you want to splurge in a good bronzer this is definitely by far one of the best ones i've tried i have tried the mac bronzer not a big fan of i don't use it but this one for the price i felt it is good it is blendable you need a very little product and you just achieve that nice bronzer the best part about this product is that you can actually contour with it because it has a lot gray going on 
but yes it will just give you a nice flush of bronziness on your face it looks so defined so well done it is very smooth you need very little product one dip and one side of the face is done you don't have to go in with your brush like thousand hundred times it stays well it doesn't fade off and it gives you that nice perfect bronziness by far i have really loved this one by too faced and i have two more in the face palette so yes i do reach out to this bronzer a lot and the way it performs on my skin absolutely stunning the marking definitely this also is a 10 on 10 bronzer if you're looking for a high-end bronzer and you're ready to spend that 2300 and you want that nice luxury makeup product this is definitely worth every penny so definitely a 10 on 10 fully proof bronzer since i've already told you that both of the bronzers are my favorite bronzer and mostly used now for the price and the quantity definitely there is a major difference in both the products but the quality you are getting two different styles of bronzers here the formula is definitely different from each other if you don't mind dipping your brush like a thousand hundred times in this one you can go ahead and buy this one but if you are looking for something high-end and something more easy to work with and something which is just gonna give you something like this then you can go in with this one but all in all both of them stays well on my skin they perform really well and they give me something I'm looking looking for when I'm bronzing up my face so all in all both of them are good if I summarize it this will get a 9 out of 10 because of the packaging I'm deducting that one point and here you definitely get 10 on 10 so that was a small comparison and in-depth talk about the two wonderful bronzers one from high end and one from drugstore i hope you loved watching this interesting comparison video i will be linking down the products link in my description if you want to check them out but i clearly recommend both the bronzers if you are a bronzer person i will be here soon with some more comparison videos stay tuned on my channel because yes some exciting comparisons are coming your way subscribe to my channel and follow me on my instagram at the rate bronzing geek till then you take care and i will see you in my next one